<laughs> you will remember that Tag and Snap had called into the night and that, oh, to their surprise, uh, Tag's call was answered. And here's what it said. Yeah, yeah, we heard a coyote. It was you, wasn't it? One of the coyotes asked. Yeah, probably, Tag answered. But we heard a dog, too. Can't be sure about dogs. Don't want to mess with dogs. Are you alone? Tag moved closer. Well, not alone, but you don't have to worry about Snap. He's not a dog. He's a wolf, and he likes coyotes. Not so fast, Snap said, emerging from his bed. The two strangers' eyes popped at his size. They turned tail and dashed across the opening and into a stand of underbrush. Uh, you'll get no harm from me, Snap called to the retreating coyotes. I'm looking for wolves, that's all. You know, are there any wolves in the, these forests? Becky and Lily carefully emerged from the understory. Keeping her distance, Becky said, Oh, I've never seen anything like you before. You're big, too big. Aren't you afraid? She says to Tag. Oh, not me, Tag answers. Snap's been good to me. He just wants to find wolves. Nothing like you here, Lil answered, eyeing, still eyeing Snap. You two can come with us, Tag said admiringly to the two good-looking lady coyotes. Uh, go with a dog? Are you crazy? Becky exclaimed. He's not a dog. He's a wolf. Whatever. Uh, better stay away from him, from us, Lil said, baring her teeth. No, no, no. You don't need to worry about Snap, Tag said. He won't hurt you. Whatever he is, he's new to me, and I'm not taking any chances, Becky said, trotting away toward the underbrush. Me either, Lil said quickly, and she followed her sister out of harm's way. The sisters disappeared. Hey, you're wrong about Snap, Tag called after them, not knowing where they had gone. Snap chuckled. <laughs> so much for friendly howls into the night. Well, yeah, howls are supposed to bring coyotes together. You're cute, you think? They're cute, you think? <laughs> Snap chuckled again. Well, not exactly. Well, the brazen one, a little. I can see why you're, they appeal to you. You might want to stay with them. Think about it. I'm going to sleep. Tag nervously paced the clearing, thinking about what it would be like for him to settle here with a coyote sisters. The night got colder and colder, but the chill didn't bother him. He was engrossed in thought. Tag knew he would not be continuing on with Snap. He knew he would stay with the Coyote Sisters instead. He also knew that Snap had no choice but to move on in his relentless search for other wolves, for a mate. He wished his friend well. Finally, he gave in to weariness and joined Snap in the temporary den. After an hour, he was overcome by fatigue and fell asleep. Now, lads and lasses, run down, get a book, come up and read it because, yes, books are the greatest treasure and you want to keep reading. <laughs>